This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So back to our notes then. Sometimes a house is used for business purposes. Uh, there may be part of the residence that is used exclusively for business. So if you convert your garage and use that just for business and nothing else, then you will have to pay capital gains tax on that portion because um, it's not um, exclusively your home. Okay, and sometimes people let out um, their home. So letting relief is available to cover any gain not covered by PRR if part of the property is rented out while the remaining part is still occupied. You must still be living there. Um, it doesn't apply if the property is not your main residence. That is the old rule. So previously you could actually have a second home and rent out your first one. That doesn't apply anymore. You must still be in residence. And these are the rules for that. It's the lower of the PRR given, as we've just calculated, 40,000 or the gain attributable to the letting. So let's have a look at how that looks in practice. We have here Dora Key who bought a three story house. So that was the cost. We're always looking for proceeds, less cost equals gain. Um, she occupied the whole house until uh, the 1st of May 2018 when she let out the top floor to a tenant up to when she sold the house for the proceeds of 420000 in May 2023. So what we're going to have a do now is to have a look at the model answer because the process is exactly the same as the one that I've just showed you. Um, and then we can see how that works. So as with all capital gains, we need the proceeds and less the cost is the gain. Every single time I want you to prepare that. Then you put in less PRR with the working, leave that blank. Okay. And then you're going to add that in, which is the letting relief, leave it blank. And finish off your computation. Then you prepare your table. Exactly the same as before. Firstly, first put in the dates. Okay, all the dates. Then put in the rule as in what is happening. There are marks for that, marks for that, marks for that, marks for that. And then there'll be um, um, a mark for um, getting the exempt months, the charger mod months and so forth. There will also then be a mark for this. And then there'll be a further two marks for this. So you can see there are potentially a lot of marks if this um, comes up in an exam. And because it's only tested at TX and not advanced tax, it's something that um, comes up um, on a fairly regular basis. So from the 1st of November until the 30th of April 2018, she was actually in occupation. That's that bit there. There's the last nine months. So it's the bit in the middle. And the fact that you've set the pro forma up means you can do the bits that you can actually do. You can put all the actuals in. You can put the last nine months in. And then you work out the more complicated bits. As with all of these pro formas and all of the tasks that you do, do the bits you can do first. Do the easy bits, do the bits you can copy across that require, and then, then use your time wisely to answer the bits that you're not so sure about. So, 1st of May 18 to the 1st of August 2022, which is nine months prior to um, um, selling it, it's one third let, two thirds occupation. So therefore you can see, Two thirds, one third with the total. And that you would work out first. Total occupancy, the total number of months. That's important that you work out. So PRR is the exempt months over the total months. 224921. And you can see that is a different figure there. Okay. We 
kind of need to sort of work that one out again, don't we? Um, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you to work that out, and then I'll have a look at it and, and, and come back to you on that. Okay, I've checked it out. So that there should say, let's just delete that. That should say 224921, which will alter that. I'm working it out as we go along here. That should be 35,079. Okay. So. Ah, there you go, 35,079. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I can do it right then. So the letting relief is the lowest of the PRR. That's the rule of 40,000. Or the let months of 17 out of 126. Times that is 35,079. Which gives us 35,079. Again, the answer is nil at the end. So please forgive me for getting that wrong. Okay, well now we've amended it, so we're all right. So let's go back to the notes. So back with the notes here, um, we've looked at example number 12, where she lets that out. And what we need to do now is just to deal with the exam technique. And we're going to get potentially some multiple choice questions, but potentially a rather large section C question. So this first one, the disposal of two of which two assets qualifies for rollover relief. Okay, so it's not going to be a portable showing machine. Um, it's going to be which other ones can we get rid of there? So uh, goodwill counts only for limited companies. Um, owned by a company and let to other businesses, and that's an investment. Um, shares don't count, so we're looking at three and oh, it's that one, the shares one. So this one is okay, three and six for that one. Now, the multiple choice question number two Annika sold her entire holding of three thousand pounds in a co trading company to her son. 53,000 when the market value was 98 slightly different there and she bought them so that's the cost for 41,500 and she never worked there what is the amount of the gift holdover relief if any which can be claimed in dis fact um, in respect of these shares we're looking at proceeds or market value 98,000 and the cost was 41,500 which gives us again a 56,500 now what actually happened actually happened was 53 minus 40 53,000 minus 41,500 that's what actually happened so 11,500 is what's going to be chargeable and the balance would be gift relief. So the answer is B. And obviously, um, this is a very important chapter. So please make sure that you understand it completely. Now, there's been through so much in it. So please make sure you read this chapter again. Go through all the examples. Look at all the answers that we've been through. Work it out yourself. Use your chapter in your BPP textbook and then do some practice questions.